Hello, Windows Universe. In this video, we will discuss a few things that you can try if you receive the 0x000000EF, the Critical Process Diet Error, with Windows 10. For a more in-depth look at the error, we will link an article in the description down below. Microsoft has a blue screen troubleshooter online. Go to the website. We link the website in the article down below. You will be asked a series of questions. Follow the prompts and Microsoft will offer some fixes that you can try. After that, restart your computer and see if that resolves the problem. Let's run the hardware and devices troubleshooter. Open an elevated command prompt and type in msdt dot exe space hyphen id device diagnostic all one word and hit enter a dialog box will open to run the hardware and devices troubleshooter if it can diagnose and fix a problem it will Restart the computer when it is finished and see if the error is resolved. Let's look at updating our device drivers. Go to the device manager. Look for any devices that are marked with a yellow exclamation point. Update them. Also, if this error started after you installed any new devices or hardware, disable them and see if that helps. Also. If you updated any drivers recently, consider rolling back the driver and see if that makes a change. We can run the SFC and the DISM. To do this, you will need an elevated command prompt. To run the SFC, type in SFC space slash scan now, all one word, This will take a few minutes. When the SFC scan is finished, type in DISM space slash online space slash clean up hyphen image space slash restore health, and hit enter. Depending on any level of corruption in your system, this could take a few minutes. After that is finished, restart your computer and see if the problem has been resolved. If all else fails, then you can simply restore your computer to an earlier time. Type in Restore. In the System Properties box, make sure you're at System Protection. Click on System Restore. And try and restore your computer to a time period before you noticed any of the problems and see if that corrects the problem. Now, you will have to reinstall programs and devices installed after the restore point was created. I would do this one at a time in case one of these devices or programs is the culprit. For more information on how to maximize your Windows experience, go to our website, windowsclub.com. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, where we are always adding new content aimed at making your digital universe just a little bit easier. Thanks for watching and have a great day.